Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Yep. So I think we found yeah, we found Ranga. Fish and clams of seaweed, bright green with heat, royal in the stew. It is pleasantly salty. Hello, Ranga. You find yourself facing a towering Aumawa woman. Her skin is the warm gold brown of a dying sunset with pale fish-white patches at throat and hands. Wavy red-brown hair pulled into a tight braids around a stripe of bare skin that follows the curve of her skull, flows down over her broad shoulders. Hail, traveler. She regards you calmly, evidently unsurprised to find you here at the edge of her calm by the water. Have you come for medicines and craft works or to share the fire? She gestures the large cauldron nearby. Mm, Alfura sent me here. She says that you know some way to ensure that her child is not a hollowborn. Ah, uh, more of Lord Tetric's frightened flock. She nods slowly. You are kind to come all this way. Poor Ulfra must be beside herself. I imagine she gave you something for payment. Whatever it is, you keep it. I don't need coin. I need you to do something for me. Instead, Renga points inland. There is a Xorib tribe to the northeast, led by one of their priests. Dana was exiled from there some time ago, and their scouts still lurk about this place, waiting for an opportunity to end his life. The Xorib lets out a rough squawk, head drooping. One day I'll have to go for supplies and I'll come back to find my assistant slain. How will I help anyone then? She shakes her head. You read me of this nuisance and I will do what I can for Ofra and find something for you too. Alright, I'll be back when it's done. Good, good. You'll find them easily enough, I think. She smiles, bearing sharp teeth. Good luck. Thank you. Northeast, you said, and the undead are supposed to be southeast. Great. Oh, there's something here. After several days' journey, it seems it is time to at last to part ways with my traveling companion from New Hilmar. A pity we could not see the compass together, but perhaps you will have a, as grand a time in Gayran's grasp. I have given him my gloves for safekeeping. For I will hardly need them in such fine weather. Oh, I forgot I could. Come on. What I forgot about is that in stash. Can I uh, go in here? Or is it. Oh, those are ingredients. That's interesting. Okay, okay, then never mind then. If those are ingredients, then I do not want to sell them. By the way, what can we craft? No food. Wizard's double. Hmm. Here's a little bit of the caster to distract enemies, mounting a caster high deflection bonus against a single attack. Portion of iron skill, all skin, not skill. Plus a damage reduction until hit or critically hit. Artificials generally refrain from listing the ingredients involved in the creation of these portions, citing the coral. In any event, they give the imbibers skin a tough and durable quality, making them less susceptible to damage. Until hit or critically hit, this sounds so weird. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, you're so cute! But what do we have here? Flow. Oh. What does that give? Spirit shield. Minor endurance. Straight, plain endurance. Sure. Can I drink? Uh, no, no, no. I 
I think we should be eating something. What does milk give? Mm, that's not. Uh, there we are done with you. Come on, use endurance. You start hitting him. You. Cr oh, it's in cooldown. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Ooh, that hurts. I shouldn't be stalling when it comes to... No, some sports. When it comes to me getting hit, really. Uh, maybe I'll give you some athletics. And this. Can I give you anything else? Not really. I have three points. Hmm. White worms retard in the bellies of the dead. Sounds so nice. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, we have different things here. Allows the healing of a modest amount of health on the user. Once per rest. Yes. I should give that to any everyone. But I don't think this is the place we were looking for. Moss and mold cover the bones like a blanket. They smell earthy and wet. Yep. Oh, okay. NPCs with gold uh, backgrounds were isn't designed by backers. Okay. Good to know. I really do advise that you play this game with uh, creator's narration. Crabs and small fish cluster in a spool with a pine by the tide. But of course, I'm here mostly for the lore. For now. I'll play this game again by my own. I met a helpful dear good woman while in Gilded Vale. She was an invaluable guide during my time in that sorry village, and agreed to accompany me some part of the way toward Ensluk's compass. We parted ways in the wilds known as Margrand's Fork, but I gave her my amulet so that she might remember me fondly. Perhaps I will return to this land someday after all. Okay, we found the Zurip. And I know I keep spelling it differently each time. By the way, where do you have here? Um. You must be in combat to use it. That's so weird. Is that so grand the journey as mine should lead me here? The people of the dear would call this pitiable lagoon a sight to see, but all I have experienced here is misfortune. I thought to explore the cavern by the waters, only to discover it was home to sprawlings. I went to see the wounded compass and lost the bulk of my letters when I tripped over some driftwood. And at last I made to inspect the dragon skulls nearby, only to be menaced by some foolish little gazorips. I will return to Gilded Vale as soon as I catch my breath. At least the Zerbs must appear to have followed. This is the full one we were looking for. Can you use it now by any chance? And will it carry over when we are out of the fight? No. No. That was a waste. 
of resources. Clone shells and trap carapace slitter decals. Ooh, scroll of prayer against fear. There you go. Jasper. <laughs> oh, mm, yeah, I put the potion in the stash as well. The ghoul. Not, not ghoul, but ghoul. <laughs> Please tell me if you understand the difference because I, while I'm speaking it, there's no difference whatsoever. Oh, there it goes. Um, maybe it's best if you recover your endurance. At the center of a ring of jacked stone, this boulder casts long shadows across the sand as the sun moves overhead. Morning star, 200. Well, maybe for you. Potion of wizard stable, that's for you. And I don't think it makes any difference who takes the cash. Oh. This animation is so lovely. I don't know why. I know that they animation for water is hard due to the nature of water itself I mean to make it look believable is difficult that's why I appreciate the animation of water even more While traveling west towards Gilded Vale, I encountered a fellow traveler of some considerable intelligence and we engaged in pleasant conversation. It came to light that the poor fellow had the most execrable pair of boots upon him. I gave him one of my spurses that he might better appreciate Vale and craftsmanship. May they serve him well, for he said he intended to cross the wilderness known as the Black Meadow. I cannot imagine it as a pleasant place. And that's all. Can I... Oh? Kinda what I wanted to do, not entirely, but there we are. Can I double speed? E. D. And this is S. Okay. Useful. Surely useful. Hail and well met. Is it done? And I read of the interminable squawking of the Zurips. Hey? No, Tena, I do not mind yours. They're dead. Good. I tired of their feeble attempts to surprise us. Here, she hands you three files. For your trouble. And now we can get underway with my part of the bargain. Thank you. I will get started on the mixture, but I need some more, one more ingredient. Some spores from the creatures in that cave. There, she points just north of her little stretch of beach. Spawlings, they call them. It is a useful material. I need one for the mixture. You are welcome to any others you find. I have some here. So you do. Excellent. Give one here and I'll add it to the cauldron. This should not take long. The mixture is ready. Take this to Ulfra. Tell her to drink it before bed, as it, in, it, as it induces sleep. She should find herself more energetic in the morning. Tell her to eat more fish and cheese. The potion will sustain a healthy appetite. Grant her strength. She's rather a frail woman, from what I remember of her. Wait, I thought this was a cure. I can tend to ailments of the body. I cannot cure an affliction of the soul. Certainly not one afflicted by the gods. Ringa crosses her arms. I have explained many times people will not believe what they want. 
solid her belief. Perhaps that will help. Faith is a powerful thing. In the meantime, she will feel much improved, and with her child should not be claimed by the legacy, then it will be born healthy. That I will promise. Fine, I'll be going then. I have done what I can, as promised. Tell Ulfra I wish her well. And leveled up. Let's see, some more lore to you, some more survival as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see, infused with vital essence. Plus 50 max endurance, plus 50 max health. Okay, let's check that out. Mm, let's see. I'll also give you wound binding. Everyone will have wound binding. You. Athletics. Lore. And so. Rapid recovery. Constant recovery. Endurance. What if I constant recover? Hmm. Let's see what weapon focus. Knight. A passive talent or ability that one can be oh it's passive. Hmm. Battle axe, sword, morning star, crossbow, no. Um no noble by chance. Dagger, rapier, mace. What are you your saber? Peasant? No. Raffian? Raffian, apparently. Mm hmm. Mm. Plus six accuracy with saber, slot to clap, pistol, blunder, but I'll give you pistol later. Guess it will be great if all of you could also use some ranged weapons. From time to time. Okay, but now let's go back to Gilded Vale. Oh no. Oh, we can go this way. Uh, yeah, straight to Gilded Vale. Yes. She was living in this house here. Come on, move it. Good day, stranger. You were some time away. I worried you wouldn't return. Is that it? Have you bought it? Ulfra looks at you hopefully. What did Franca say? Yes, I have it. Here it is. You really did it? Oh, bless you, bless you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Now my baby will be safe. Ulfra beams at you. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Wait, um... Wait, you should know something about that potion. Ulfra blinks, looking down the vial. What do you mean? It might make you a little more tired, that sort of thing. Oh! <laughs> well, I don't know what I will notice, frankly. But thank you for telling me. Here, take this. You can keep what remains of Ranga's payment, too. Thank you again. I'll take this before I settle into bed. Perhaps I will finally rest easy. Uh, you. Athletics. Maybe not mechanics. Survival. Stealth. Next. <laughs> um, wound binding. Next. Okay, that's one. Yes? Yes. Okay, so we are done with Ranga. We need to go to Black Meadow and quit Nua. So we need to go back to my Macron's Fork, I think. Or it looks like there should be another road east from from here.
Hold, madame, but a moment. A hooded man waits upon the road, clad in a green cloak. He strides forward to meet you as you approach, and at the closer distance his features are revealed for those of a younger man, though lined with weariness. He appears to be favoring his left leg as he walks, and there is a dark stain upon the fabric of his trousers under the knee. Even so, he greets you with a polite bow. It seems that you have done their offer great service. The man nods toward the nearby house. Inslook's compass is a dangerous place, and yet you are willing to venture there to help her. Gilded Vale needs such courage in these dark times. Styled hearts, will hearts are willing to do what is necessary to save these people. He turns to look out over the village. Can I count you among that number? Who are you? Only a man determined to see Gilded Vale restored to its former glory. There was a time, stranger, when Gilded Vale was worthy of its name. The wheat shone like gold on the hills, and the village's people lived well. I don't know about the golden crops, but there were less flies anyway. And what has become of it now? Whether, whatever has caused the blight upon our land, it is not the fault of its people. Redrick looks to punish us for crimes we have not committed, and it ran, in turn he is blind to his own. I am not, and he will pay for what he has done. I, Kolsk, swear it by the flame. Like many tyrants, he has surrounded himself with stronger men and women for fear of retribution. The man smiles thinly. And so you are warned. If you would press on this by that, however, I wonder if we might not help one another. What it is you want me to do? The man nods, standing a little straighter. It is a grim task that I ask of you, but I assure you there is no other option. Lord Redrick must be stopped. Too long has Gilded Vale suffered under Redrick's madness. He would cure Wadewin's legacy by ensuring there are none alive in the village to be afflicted. I fear his own wife, Igret, may be a risk. The man has no mercy in him. We have not stood idle. My people and I breached the defenses, intent on ending Redrick's rule ourselves. We entered through the sewers under cover of night, but we were routed. His face darkens. There are dark creatures down there in the dungeons. The walk of Redrick's animansa. It falls to you. Lord Redrick has called for further reinforcements and soon there will be no stopping him. Our time grows short, and in this hour I must beg assistance where I can. He's going to owe us more than some rebel strewn plot of land after this. Fling him from the ramparts, or else cut his head from his shoulders. I care not. Once his throne lies empty, Gilded Vale will have the stewardship that it deserves. Hmm, I will find and deal with him. Then I commend you on your courage, and thank you for your assistance. But I wouldn't send you onward without due warning. Redrick's hold is crawling with soldiers and cell swords, all loyal to Redrick. They will not take kindly to intruders. In truth, they will be all the more alert for our failed efforts. A frontal assault would be unwise. If you would brave it, you could follow our steps and seek out the entrance to the sewers at the eastern edge of the moat. He looks away. But several of my men were captured. It may be the entrance he has found and sealed away. Anyway. Those men were under my command. I would be in your debt if you found some means of helping them. Once you make it inside, seek out my old friend, Nedmar. He is the high priest, Baratheon, now that the Shining God is fallen. A good man, in difficult circumstances. He will listen to reason. Durant's turtles nearly choking on his own disdain. <laughs> Shining God, he never shone so brightly as when the bomb took him. The moon carries absolute now, and Ash does not shine. It's like if someone was to call you oh, the attractive priest, Durance. Nedmar can help you reach Frederick, but he resides in the upper level of Frederick's hold, protected by guards and mercenaries. You will have to keep to the shadows, if you mean to reach him without alarming the entire keep. Thank you for your advice. I will make good use of it. 
I consider it a blessing from the gods that I have found someone that understands honor and duty. Frederick's Holt lies past the eastern wood, not far to the east. May my grand bring you a victory, friend. I wish you luck. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna need. Pretty much. So, what now? We have new place? No. Um. No, no, no. Uh, not this path. Oh my goodness, I'm lost. Here. If that makes any difference, that is. What do we have here? Damage reduction. Defender. Gallant focus. Everyone has gallant focus from him. I really like those auras of his. No. Oh, Eastern wood. Okay. Or Eastern wood. Okay. Warding symbols as red and rough as scraps have been carved into some of the trees. Oh, oh those are rocks. There's a tree in here and I thought it will it were bushes we can walk through. Some more warding symbols. That was quick. Not you, but there is something here. If I told you that I can always tell this game by its soundtrack, I mean, we are using the soundtrack that whenever we play either Gloomhaven or some uh, RPG sessions, and you know, just some fantasy playlist. And the only piece I know. Is this this one from the pillars? sell those torches cemetery there's another one That will be all of them. Here lies an earth, a root of hell, said by the devil's ain devil. This worthless body down himself to save the Lord the trouble. I think those are backers as well. 
we must move forward. Knew too much. <laughs> Here lies Ray, it was just not his day. Please, no necromancy, let him rot in peace. Seriously, he really hates necromancers. Really. <laughs> hey, I think it's, this is almost all to this place. Yeah. Let's just look what we have up here. And I appreciate this fast moving <laughs> mode. It's not always that you are granted that, you know. I mean, I appreciate it when you do have it. home of the man responsible for those hanging corpses you don't plan on knocking do you i don't think so you are told that there's a sewer i'm talking by a heavy stench rises from the stagnant waters and thank you for reminding me that he's the one responsible for them the castle's bell tower rises up over the walls before you Thick vines are grown over the outer wall, weaving over and between the stones. The vines span nearly the full height of the wall, curling over the parapets. Examine it. The overgrown vines look fairly sturdy, though it is unclear whether they would bear a person's weight. Far above, you notice that a section of the parapets has fallen away, presenting a gap in the defenses. Okay, let's try it. You get a running start on the bank of the moat and leap, aiming for some of the thicker vines. Your hand holds sways, and there is no an ominous cracking above, a sound above, but the vines hold. The tower looms above you. Climb. The climb up the, the keep wall is long and wearing, fatiguing some in your party, but in time the top of the wall comes within reach, and you are able to pull yourself up and over. Yay! Okay, and with that, I think I'm gonna end this part here. So, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.